In this uh, video, I'll try to summarize whatever we have learned in our uh, first module about pneumonia. Main causes of infective pneumonia. There are four main causes. Bacteria, viruses, mycoplasma, and fungi. Just to differentiate, bacteria is a single-celled uh, living microorganism that can cause infections. It grows in number simply by dividing into two almost every 20 minutes, and uh, they can grow outside human body like on rocks, dirt, trees, etc. And a bacteria can be killed with the help of antibiotic. Some bacteria are good for human health. Viruses are much smaller in size as compared to bacteria and can grow without a, and cannot grow without a living host. A virus has to enter in other living cells in order to multiply and uh, thus they cannot be killed with the help of antibiotics. Mycoplasma is uh, one of the simplest living matter. It does not have a cell wall uh, and therefore it cannot be classified as true bacteria. Nor it has to have a living host to multiply. Thus it cannot be classified as true virus as well. Uh, fungus is uh, simply a plant that does not need sunlight uh, to prepare its food. Mushrooms are the commonest example. We all eat mushrooms. But some fungi can cause deadly diseases and infections inside human body. They can, they can cause infections on the skin as well, on nails for example as well. Uh, and they need antifungal drugs to be treated. Because pneumonia can be caused by a variety of microorganisms, it is not one disease. It's rather a, a group of diseases uh, uh, that uh, creates uh, exudate inside lungs and, and thus create similar uh, symptoms. It treatment depends upon what causing it. Remember the definition says infection or inflammation of lungs. It does not say uh, or mention name of any organism. But the common thing that happens in pneumonia is that alveoli get filled either with effusion, pus or blood and all these things are known as exudates. Because alveoli are filled with exudates, air cannot reach alveoli and oxygen cannot be absorbed by blood. When infective uh, agent enters lung, white blood cells called neutrophils rush towards the site of infection presence of high number of neutrophils itself causes inflammation means swelling around the uh, swelling of tissues around the site of infection neutrophils start eating microorganisms a process which is known as phagocytosis dead neutrophils bacteria and dead cells create pus which accumulates in alveoli and makes it difficult to breathe. So the point to remember or, or learn here is that uh, pus, regardless of where it is coming from, it can be pus from a wound in your foot or hand or, or anywhere. It is mainly composed of neutrophils, white blood cell neutrophils, dead bacteria and dead cells. It can also have live bacteria sometimes. It uh, causes symptoms of fever, lethargy and cough. If untreated infections can grow and a person can die because of lack of oxygen in blood. Uh, infection can also spread in other parts of the body. It can cause complications like pleural effusion. Um, it can cause empyema and other things. Pneumonia can also be caused by chemical inhalation and aspiration. We have only covered infective pneumonia here. Uh, and we'll be hopefully uh, discussing more about other types of pneumonia in our uh, next modules.